but Omaha, I think has a lot to do with it. I think that just, you know, placing, I think you're going to be more, much more likely to find something like this, like in Cheyenne, Wyoming or something, you know, where there's just like not a lot of scene, uh, to be spoke, to be spoken for. And, uh, in that, I think that was really to our benefit, you know, like we, we, you know, we were like a group of kids who all kind of like got, um, obsessed with music and with playing and writing music. There wasn't a ton of other things going on. And also we recognized full well that we had to do it ourselves. There was like, in Omaha, there really is not, there really weren't, was not other, there weren't uh, avenues out or, you know, yeah. and that's, and, and, and maybe that's, maybe there was some pre-internet benefit to that, or, or as you're suggesting, maybe the internet, maybe this can happen happen more often with the internet i don't know i'm also middling aged i suppose as far as not understanding how the internet really works with, with <laughs> the these days yeah so so it's sort of like there's not a scene unless we make a scene in this place and then well and we were so insular i guess it's like that was i don't know something about something about all of that kind of like we didn't really realize well we didn't even know what to compare ourselves to you know but i do think that there's a lot of benefit to um to us being kind of way out there in the middle of nowhere and yeah. uh in and, and then being like we don't we can only help each other you know and i visited my brother on the outskirts of olympia where the forest and the water become one and we talked about our childhood like a dream we were convinced of the perfect peaceful street that we came from and I know he heard me strumming all those sad and simple chords As I sat inside my room so long ago And it hurts that he's still shaking from those secrets that were told